Welcome to the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Every week, we will have a guest mystery reader. If you think you know who the reader is, go to servedaily.com and enter your guests. On Friday, our mystery reader will reveal themselves. And now, the Serve Daily Story of the Day. This story has special interest to Spanish Fork. It's from page C1, a recreation center in Spanish Fork by Stacy Beck. Recently in Spanish Fork City Council asked me to be one of the 25 citizens on a citizens committee created to assess the feasibility of constructing a new recreation center, library, senior citizen center, and city office building in Spanish Fork. We have met monthly since March and invited citizens to a public workshop on May 12th at Larson Elementary School. This workshop gave great insight on current attitudes towards the proposal. Spanish Fork City has one of the lowest tax rate in Utah County, and we found that 81% of citizens would support a property tax increase to fund the project. Because of community support, growth, and opportunity, our city is in a perfect position for this to move forward. Spanish Fork residents would vote on the bond this November. When citizens were surveyed at the meeting, we learned that building a recreation center was the number one priority. Second and third were a library and senior citizen center, neck and neck. The lowest interest was a new city office building. Public input also favors utilizing a multi-use facility to make things like shared common areas more, more cost effective. The project would require eight to 10 acres of property. We are looking at a land currently owned by the city as well as property that can easily be acquired. The citizen committee has identified four core values that will guide future decisions. They are keeping a hometown feel, maintaining good accessibility, consolidating buildings into a life center, and accounting for planned growth. There are obvious reasons for having shared or combined buildings. For example, seniors in our area will be more likely to use a facility if there is easy access to a rec center and or a library. By having a place where we can bring our youth, use the amenities with our families, and encourage the older generation to participate along with us, this truly will be a life center. For the complete article and more, pick up your copy of Serve Daily at local businesses or read it online at servedaily.com. Welcome to the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Every week, we will have a guest mystery reader. If you think you know who the reader is, go to servedaily.com and enter your guests. On Friday, our mystery reader will reveal themselves. And now, the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Hmm, this looks like a good story here on page C3. Nebo Adult Education Holds Recognition Night by Lucilia Guterres. The Nebo Adult Education Recognition Night was held Thursday, May 14th at Landmark High School in Spanish Fork. This year, 208 students ranging from 17 to 86 years old achieved their diploma or GED. Special recognition was given to retiring program director Joe Kelly for his years of service to the adult education program. Nebo Adult Education also recognized students who have earned level gains in their areas of reading, writing, and or math. English second language students were also recognized for their accomplishments during the 2014-15 school year. The mission of Nebo Adult Education is to assist adult students to become lifelong learners through literacy, self-sufficiency, student goals, and academic skills. Congratulations, students! For the complete article and more, pick up your copy of Serve Daily at local businesses or read it online at servedaily.com. Welcome to the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Every week, we will have a guest mystery reader. If you think you know who the reader is, go to servedaily.com and enter your guests. On Friday, our mystery reader will reveal themselves. And now, the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Invent a part named Utah Small Business Exporter of the Year. Hmm, this story is on page C2. Michael Lundwall has been selected as the 2015 SBA Utah Small Business Exporter of the Year. Lundwall owns Invent Apart Incorporated, a Springville-based company that specializes in rapid prototyping services, also known as 3D printing. Invent Apart also produces and manufactures a rigid bot, a 3D printer that creates plastic objects based on digital schematics and CAD designs. Since 2014, the rigid bot has been exported to 53 countries. Wow. Lundwall founded Inventapart in 2009 after receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in Manufacturing and Engineering Technology from Brigham Young University. 
Central Bank nominated Lundwall for the 2015 SBA Small Business Exporter of the Year Award and itself was recently named the most active SBA Export Express Community Bank lender in, na in the nation in 2014. Utah entrepreneurs have historically proven they can succeed in any economic environment. Our 2015 awardees exemplify hard work, determination, and vision, which are the backbone of what it means to be a small business, said Stan Nakano, District Director for the SBA Utah District Office in Salt Lake City. This is so cool. Congratulations to Event Apart. Have you made a guess who I am yet? Go to servedaily.com and submit your guess now. For the complete article and more, pick up your copy of Serve Daily at local businesses or read it online at servedaily.com. Welcome to the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Every week, we will have a guest mystery reader. If you think you know who the reader is, go to servedaily.com and enter your guess. On Friday, our mystery reader will reveal themselves. And now, the Serve Daily Story of the Day. This one looks pretty interesting. Payson Scottish Festival planned for July 10th through 11th by Shauna Phelps. This is found on page C3. This year marks the 32nd annual Payson Scottish Festival and Highland Games. This event will begin on Friday evening, July 10th with entertainment in the park. The featured performing artist this year will be Men of Worth with performances on both Friday and Saturday. There will be an early morning 5K run sponsored by the Boy Scouts on Saturday, July 11th before the main event begins, followed by dance, athletic, and pipes and band competitions throughout the day. There will be high quality Scottish and Celtic themed vendors for shoppers and clan booths to offer historical and genealogical expertise. The food vendors keep the crowds fed and hydrated with enticing victuals. The festival will conclude with closing ceremonies after the competitions are over on the piping field at 5 p.m. Everyone leaves tired and satisfied from a fun-filled day of all things Scottish. Join us this year on July 10th at 11th at Payson Memorial Park for the best family fun around. For more information, find us at www.paysonscottishfestival.org. Hmm, this is fun. I think I'm going to go. According to oral tradition, some version of the Celtic Gaelic Highland Games predates Christianity. These gatherings were basically war games held with the intent to select the best warriors in each family, tribe, or clan. The first games in Scotland were organized in the 11th century and specifically designed as a sporting event. During the reign of King Malcolm III, a royal contest was held to find the swiftest and strongest in the kingdom to carry the king's message across the land. There is some great history in this article. You should read the rest of it at servedaily.com or get a copy for yourself at many of our fine local businesses. For the complete article and more, pick up your copy of Serve Daily at local businesses or read it online at servedaily.com. Welcome to the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Every week, we will have a guest mystery reader. If you think you know who the reader is, go to servedaily.com and enter your guess. On Friday, our mystery reader will reveal themselves. And now, the Serve Daily Story of the Day. Alyssa Larson surprised by the Huntsman Award for Excellence in Education by Lana Hiskey. This is on page B1. On April 30th, Karen Huntsman surprised special education teacher Alyssa Larson at the Spanish Fork High School with the highest teaching award bestowed in the state of Utah, the Huntsman Award for Excellence in Education. The award's mission is to recognize, inspire, and reward the best teachers, school administrators, and volunteers in Utah for continually seeking ways to improve the quality of education in our public school system. Spanish Fork High School has an enrollment of 1,240 students. Alyssa currently has 13 special needs students and 52 peer tutors in her classroom. She also coaches the Spanish Fork Girls' basketball team. Getting this award was truly shocking and I still haven't quite realized that it is real. We never think when we are working in this field that a reward like this will come our way. I truly feel blessed to have the opportunity to work with amazing students I do every day, which made this award possible in my life. The students, my coworkers, administration and parents, I love them all. I cannot thank them enough for playing a role in being my honored with this award, said Larson. Spanish Work High School principal Dave McKee said, Soon after hiring Alyssa, I realized that she is an extraordinary individual in many wonderful ways. 
She gives individuals a sense of worth and importance and encourages them through trials. Alyssa has shown her love and support to many that truly needed exactly that in life. Nebo School District Special Education Director J. Lynn Jones stated, Our district special needs beauty pageant began with Alyssa's support. Beauty pageants? Huh, I like those. This event began when one of her peer tutors was pursuing ways to support the special needs girls as the platform for her successful pursuit of the Miss Spanish Fork title. This pageant will be held for the sixth consecutive year this spring. All girls are winners with crowns and sashes. I just love stories like this. They really have a special meaning to me. Because I am Miss Spanish Fork 2015, Allison Isaac, and I am so very excited to serve Spanish Fork City this year. I hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of the Serve Daily Readings. For the complete article and more, pick up your copy of Serve Daily at local businesses or read it online at servedaily.com.